Now, when it comes to uh, explosiveness off the, the blocks, I mean, your background is is running, is track running, and I've seen some videos of yeah. you in the zero to 60 uh, meter races, and you are explosive <laughs> off the blocks. Is, that's the only word for it. So how yeah. how could someone uh, who who is a, a pool swimmer, what are some things that you would look at or you, you look to include to develop that explosiveness off the blocks and off the turns? Yeah, look, the, the super cool thing is that explosiveness really comes from elastic strength and the stiffness of the tendons. So again, we're going back to that importance of the recovery strategies and we're going back to the importance of maintaining integrity of connective tissue structures and we're going back to the, um, you know, to the ankle again and how important the ankle is for plantar, for plantar flexion in athletic performance. And coming off the, um, the starting blocks in swimming is exactly that action. So if you think about the foot and how important that is over 50 percent of our horizontal propulsion capacity comes from uh, the achilles and the foot tendons so we want to maximize the explosive drive off the blocks they need to make sure that those tendons are intact we want to make sure that the calf complex has that elastic quality that's desired for strong um, you know strong contractions um, and then i would most definitely in some of their land-based training be putting in some plyometric training so you know basic uh you know jumps and you know ankle jumps and things like that to build that capacity of the tendons to be able to you know give them that explosiveness off the blocks that they need strength's obviously an important factor so i know that swimmers do a lot of dry um land you know dry um base training now it's not just all in the water mm. um the way it was a few decades ago um and the other thing obviously you know to engage the nervous system and the coordination to react to the starting stimulus is important as well. But I think if swimmers can really look after their feet, make sure that they're engaging in some sort of plyometric activity through the feet, that will definitely enhance uh, their reaction and their starting capacity. 